Hey guys, it's Irish here. Um, this is actually the second time I'm doing this video. Uh, for whatever reason, it just did not save on my last one. But um, yeah, so it's been a week since my last uh, my Manjaro uh, initial or impressions, I guess. And I have gotten some feedback on I was nitpicking on certain things. Your Manjaro experience may differ from mine. So, which is granted for everyone. So, I'll try not to nitpick as much uh, in future reviews if I move off of uh, my current uh, distro. So, several of you guys have suggested that I try Artix. So, I have been on Artix for about a week now. And I must say, I am really enjoying it. Uh, my only issue... Uh, on the initial uh, install was getting Wi-Fi to work. So I did have a base uh, ISO <clears throat> and I was, I've was i been used to doing a Wi-Fi menu through Arch for over the years. So and apparently from one of the guys in the Artix uh, Discord or um, IRC channel said that that's more specifically a System D thing which I didn't know. So I had to try to do it through WPA supplicants, but for whatever reason, um, it just did not see my uh, Wi-Fi thing right here. Um, so what I did was I downloaded the XFCE OpenRC ISO. Um, so for those who don't know, Artix has three variations that you can choose from. OpenRC, run it, and uh, I believe it's a fork of SysV in it, which is called S6. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was tempted to try the S6 just because it's a different uh, in its system, but decided to go with something that I'm familiar with um, because I am starting to get a little tired of changing up stuff, and I'd rather just use my thing for whatever I want, gaming mostly actually. So the, the install was fairly straightforward. Again, the only weird thing that happened with that was the Wi-Fi, but it felt very much like an Arch install. The only difference between this and Arch is you do a pack strap uh, with Arch, and then you do, a, I believe, a base strap with Artix. Uh, let me take a look actually here. Uh, main site. I, I want to get that for sure. Um, just to make sure I'm doing this right. Oh, jeez. Okay, anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I went with the X Monad, but I'm, again, once again, about to hop to a different, uh, most likely to DWM, as you can see from my wallpaper right here. The only issue that I have uh, that I ran to right after the install was I use Network Manager. Now they do have a Network Manager uh, in the repos. So I installed just the generic one figuring it should compile and I, sh I can run it through OpenRC. That wasn't the case. They actually do have a Network Manager for Run It and OpenRC and I believe S6. So you actually had to do that specific uh, network manager. So once I figured that out, I can I did everything that you see here. The two programs that I cannot get uh, working is one of them is Slurm, which I think I've done a video on. It's just a network analyzer. As you can see, it is out of date. So. Uh, it is based off of the AUR and the maintainer of that hasn't updated it and I think several people who've used this wanting to get at least co-maintainership just so we can update this thing. We'll see if that happens. Once this comes available I'll definitely download it. I think I've been using Speedometer but it's kind of ugly and I forgot what it looked like to be honest. If any of you guys have another uh, network analyzer that you guys use very similar to 
Slurm, please let me know. I think you've guys seen Slurm. It's usually up in the left-hand side of my screen. The other one is a program called SABNZBD, I believe. So this is a web interface binary to do NZB file support. So there is a uh, uh, an extension where you can download a movie or a show or whatever audiobook, and then you process it with this. I have it installed, but unfortunately, it is not uh, OpenRC compatible. It does work on Gentoo, but my guess is because I'm compiling that from source it gets the open RC and I can do it that way where this is binary it's already pre-compiled so they do only system D with it there are other ways of doing it but we'll see um, if I have time um, some BS because of the whole COVID thing has happened and I may not have as much time anymore for at least the next two weeks um, so those are the two programs that I can't open, um, which is fine. Uh, I can live without them. It's not like I use them that often. And then let me do a basic uh, update here. Now, they actually do have their own repos, and they're very, and I can kind of show you the equivalent a little bit, um, but they actually do roll out the Arch repos too. So the multi-lib is from the Arch repo, and that is the equivalent of the lib32 with Artix. Galaxy, I believe, is community, and world is extra. And then I believe the system is like the overall, so it would be like the main, um, the main repo for, for Arch Linux. Let me uh, show you here. So there's the te uh, extra community. Yeah, so then they have something called Gremlins, and I think the Gremlins are just like the testing version of that. Uh, I may get into that, don't know yet, um, but we'll see. But yeah, I have been really enjoying it. I'm glad you guys have um, suggested that. I think it's uh, worked, uh, it's been working quite well. Um, I think my biggest issue with the system D mostly is the E login D and unfortunately run it and open RC they have that too. That's I think if I was on a desktop more often system D would be fine for me. It's just when I'm in my laptop which is my primary uh, computer it's when I close the lid or just leave it to go like the screen turns off every now and then it will just like it's in suspend mode and I press the power button to bring it back try doing everything to get it back but I have to power it off turn it back on that messes up with my clock and a bunch of other stuff so that's my biggest issue with the whole thing so yes Artix and Gen 2 are system D free to a point except for the e-login D which it's wiggling its way so I'm gonna guess in probably the next few years system D is going to be the main in it system which is sad to be honest so um, but yeah so I'm just so glad that you guys suggested this um, I'll probably stay on this for see what it feels like for a good month it does feel like Arch, which is good, uh, except for, you know, you can't do the same thing as you do in Arch on here just because it's OpenRC. And for those who say I could have installed OpenRC on Arch Linux, I have tried doing that, and it's never worked for me. And I've tried doing Run It also, following the wiki. That did not work for me either. So, um, but yeah. Again, a lot of um, COVID bullshit has happened uh, with the daycare that my daughter goes to, so she's unable to go there for the next two weeks. So probably the next couple weeks, I'm not going to be making much videos or doing a lot of research. 
Um, if you guys are interested, um, I do again have my Discord server, and I do want to thank Tony uh, Z4 uh, for helping me with some Arctic questions. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, please come on by. Uh, it's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Um, I'm chatting in there all the time. It's kind of quiet every now and then just because of time zone limits and stuff like that. Another place, if you're not a Discord person, is I do have an IRC channel. Um, it's just, uh, you know, the pound key, Irish luck, Linux. Just It's the very similar to that. Um, but yeah, I do watch, uh, I do look at all the comments that come in. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried Artix, um, are planning on trying Artix, stuff like that. Uh, again, if you are not liking System D as much uh, lately, give Artix a try. Um, I think you will be pleasantly surprised. But uh, hopefully, in the next video, I'll show you guys or tell you guys about um, uh, my dis my Dvorak slash Colmac progress. I think I've made leaps and bounds. Um, so hopefully, I can tell you guys that in the next maybe Wednesday. I'll try to get it out since there's not a whole lot of uh, preparation that I have to do for that. But uh, hopefully, you guys have a good week. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.